So I filmed a video about the Flying J that I pulled into. Looks like a freaking crime scene. This is, see, this is the typical look of the Flying J nowadays. Now, it's like police tape, but literally, like everything's taped up. There are two people standing here, like in a daze, just staring. There's tractors backed up. <laughs> it looks like a freaking crime scene. And what happened in the comments next only goes to prove my point. <laughs> Here's one comment. Yep, that's how they look in Alberta and British Columbia right now. Looks like the Flying J here in good old Springfield, Missouri. Oh, looks like the one in Ripon, California. Looks like the one in Baytown, Texas. Looks like in Phoenix, South Bakersfield, Grapevine. <laughs> Somebody asks, what city is this in? And somebody comments, it's the one in Millsport, Ohio, exit 122. I'm in Emporia, Kansas. <laughs> you will see the problem with this. Another comment, it's like this in every state. Someone else said, San Antonio? Question mark. Somebody else commented, looks like the Flying J in San Antonio off of I-10 and Foster. It's the Flying J in Cali. If that's the one in San Antonio, it's gone. That one was bad. Even back in the day, like, that one was bad. I started January 2012. Like, <laughs> it was bad back then when the Flying Jays were nice. Would this have happened to have been the pilot at Ashtabula, Ohio? You see the problem here. <laughs> I feel one flying jay that I pull into with the observation of, God, this thing's gone downhill through the years. All over the country, they're like, no, that's the one over here. I just saw it the other day. How many freaking flying jays are in this condition? That's a flying jay that burnt down there on the south side. Is this in Georgia? Are they bankrupting, somebody else asks. I, I'm curious at this point. Oh, this is Salina, Kansas. <laughs> I'll stop here. Pages, pages of people swearing this is the one they just saw all across the country. 